you should see what, what, I, what you look like when you go like this. Whoa! It's really small. It's like, whoa, almost. <laughs> well, I look fairly normal, but you look like Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> well, Larry, I'm not worried because there's a scientific reason why we look so fat. You see, mirrors don't have to be flat. They can be curved. And these curved shapes reflect light in comical ways. Curved mirrors that bow out are called convex, and mirrors that cave in are called concave. We can see why you get a squashed image in a convex mirror by tracing the path of the light rays. Light from the top of your head is reflected at an angle from the curve in the mirror. In the same way, rays from your chin also reflect off the curved mirror. But since the eye doesn't see the light bend, it appears as if the top and bottom of your head are flattened or smaller than their actual size. We used curved mirrors to collect light and image it where it's needed. Did you know that the ancient Greeks won a famous battle with this concept? Archimedes positioned his soldiers on a hilltop with their shields such that they could focus the sunlight onto the sails of enemy ships sailing into the harbor. And Archimedes was a bright guy. <laughs> he certainly was. In fact, the sails ignited. Well, we don't have any enemy ships sailing around here, but we can demonstrate this feat in the lab. Come on, I'll show you. Okay, let's go. We've got some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles here to help us demonstrate Archimedes' feet. <laughs> Light coming from here is redirected by the concave shield to one point on the sail. You see, the brightness of the focused light is causing the sail to burn. 